Hey everybody, it's Techo Freak here, and welcome to episode 16 of my Let's CS Custom Story Creation Tutorial for Amnesia. And uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, giving items to the player and things that you can do uh, by giving it to the player. Uh, things like things you can customize because you're giving it to the player. So, um, <clears throat> if you guys have been waiting for uh, a video for a while now, I've been a bit sick and I've been losing my my voice in the past few days. I've gotten a bit better now. Um, still a bit on the on the uh, on the wrong side, but I'm um, hoping uh, to get better. And I didn't want to release a video for you guys with uh, with my voice being completely horrible because I feel like you guys aren't going to learn well enough if. I don't sound clear enough. Even now, I don't sound clear as I would want to be, but I feel it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, so I'm going to fight through it. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So, uh, we have our, as usual, I have our episode 16 uh, HPS file here for you guys to see for other things we're going to do today. And here you can copy the code as well. Um, I also have the um, the link in, the, in here. Uh, the web links to HPS from here, so you can uh, go ahead and look at all the links online without having to download my HPS files or my custom story. Um, the 16 is already up, and this very same uh, file here is also up. You can find them in the description, like I have been putting in the in the previous episodes. All the previous episodes already have this, and um, yeah, let me just open it up and show you guys really quick. So this is uh, episode 16. You guys can view it online. Uh, the link will be in the description. And here is the link to all the other web links, so uh, you can uh, go ahead and just follow those if you wanted to see any from the previous ones before. Uh, and yeah, the, those will be in the description. I'm gonna try and keep them in the description for the next uh, for for all the next videos that come ahead. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close that. We're just gonna use this. <coughs> um, we're also gonna go open up the uh, episode 16 the HPS file over here. And uh, yeah, and uh, for now, that's it, but we will do something else in a moment. So, uh, yeah, so first of all, let's talk about uh, the first line of code here. So, um, we want to give a player an item, and there's two lines of code that you can use to accomplish this. There's um, either give item from file, or uh, give item, uh, just give item, and that has a lot more parameters, as you can see, from like give item from file. I remember this is in the H S S episode 16 that HPS file, uh, and yeah, there's two uh, there's two that we can use. Uh, one has more parameters with, uh, than the other, but this is for a specific reason. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just copy uh, this line of code right here, the uh, give item from file. Bring it over to our uh, room 01 that HPS file, and let's just uh, well, I want to give the items to the player at the start of the map, like the moment that the map starts. Uh, he's going to be giving a play. He's going to be giving an item, and this item is going to be a lantern. So, uh, well, I mean, well, that's what we want to do. We want it to be a lantern, but we're going to also mess around with this a bit more. So, uh, we want to give him an item, and we're going to use that line of code, and then we're going to copy the other line of code as well, and uh, go ahead and like uh, paste it under there. So we're going to give them two items at the start of the map. Of course, we haven't filled these in, so uh, you don't know uh, what items we're going to give them yet. But we are going to give them uh, some items. So first of all, let's talk about the parameters that these two use uh, before anything else. So uh, for give item for file, it uses an item name. And notice how I have this like underscore here. Uh, uh, that that is intentional. I put it there because that you need to make sure that if your a name has a space, it tends to have an underscore, so you must include it. Um, and and then uh, it's going to be the uh, the file name. This usually is the same name as the item name. It just ends in dot ent, so like dot ent. So I'm just going to type that up there. Just leave it there for now. And um. Now uh, I'm going to talk about how you can find these names, because uh, you know sometimes they have weird names, and I just want to make sure you guys can find them. So to find the item that you want to give and you want to get the correct name, you can do two things. You can either open up your level editor and look at the items in there, and you can see the exact name for them, or you can uh, you can uh, go to your root amnesia folder. Mine's is Redis uh, because uh, I got the CD, so mine's comes in uh, in the Redis folder. Yours, if you guys got it through Steam, then you got to go to Steam Apps and all of that. Uh, 
I'm sure you guys know if you guys have been uh, following my series, you already know where you can find this. So, um, um, in that in that root folder, you find the folder called entities, and then here you can see uh, basically everything you use in the level letter. Like there's item, uh, there's lamp, there's like ornament. You can see everything that you've uh, you you see in the uh, level letter in here, well at least the entities. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to item, and here we can see all the names of the items uh, with their underscore. Uh, and you can see like the name we have to be careful because uh, like for example this or piece here doesn't have an underscore but if you go to it there's different types of or pieces there's not just one or piece that's just called or piece there's or piece underscore crimson or piece underscore emerald or piece underscore indigo etc there's a lot of um there's a lot of different uh, types of uh, or pieces so you probably want to open up the folder and here's that entity file I was talking to you guys about it exists right here or piece underscore crimson dot e n t so you guys want to make sure you guys uh, know that that's where it's located uh, this is the name you probably want to use when you go over here um, the other way you can do it is uh, in the level letters so let me go over to the level letter and show you guys that so uh, I'm already in items here and you can see all the items already have their like chemical underscore container underscore epoxy this is if you want to give the player this item you must type all of this as you see it right there with the underscore included uh... that it goes for anything in here either if it doesn't have an underscore of course you don't need it if it's just crowbar you just type in crowbar if it's just lantern you type in lantern it, uh... but you guys have to make sure that the underscore is included because it is very important and here you can just find uh... everything that you can possibly give the player uh, I'm actually not sure about static items. There are like static items up here, like uh, part three static. I'm not sure what would happen if you give that to the player. Be my guest and figure it out. Um, but um, uh, yeah, these are all the things that we can possibly give the player for them to take. You can also give them uh, some other things, but for the most part, items are the only thing he can hold. So that's the things you want to give him. Um, let's see. Uh, so yeah, that will that will be that's how you find the names for these things uh... the disadvantage of this one is that you can't see the dot entity file but um, i'm pretty sure that almost everything has the same name in the entity file so if you do like stonehammer dot ent that that will definitely be the name of the uh... uh the item just stonehammer sto stone underscore hammer dot ent so majority of the time that will be the case um, so we won't. Uh, it's up to you guys whether you want to just see it in the level letter. It's probably more convenient to see it in the level letter, or if you just want to make sure that you know the exact name, like no underscore manual dot ent, you can check here. Uh, but I I believe everything is named properly. Uh, nothing's misnamed, but just in case, if you guys ever have any problems with this, you can always come to the root files and just find the entity file uh, by yourself. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the first part of everything there. So, let's go over here, um, and now let's talk about why you would want to use one code from the other one. So, as you can see, they both have uh, less parameters. They have, they have uh, one has less parameters than the other. Well, this one will give the player an item from a file, and that, that item... Uh, it's just the exact item from the uh, from the game, so you won't be able to customize it at all. You won't be able to do anything to it. It's just uh, just you just uh, give them the the item from the game. So if you're not going to give the uh, item a custom uh, name or description, like uh, you don't want to give it a custom name or description, just go ahead and uh, use this one right here. It'll give them the one from the game, and there's not going to be no changes to it. So that's the one you want to use if you're going going to use it for the game. If you're gonna use it from the game, you're not gonna change anything from it. So, so yeah. So if you do want to customize something, then I recommend you use this one below. But this one's simpler, and if you're just gonna give an item, uh, you're just gonna give the player an item from the game. Just go ahead and use this one, and save yourself the time of putting in all this uh, information over here. It will be uh, beneficial. Also, you can't control how many you give of uh, this item of the uh, to the player. You would just be giving them one. So uh, make sure that if you did want to give them more than one, you have to use this one by default. All right. So that's uh, that's the that's uh, the explanation for the first one. 
let's uh so I'm gonna use the first one to give the player the lantern. Since I'm not going to uh give the lantern a custom description, I'm just gonna give I'm just gonna uh, use this line of code right here. So let's again we can check in here and we can see lantern is L. So if I can find L right there. So lantern is just lantern, it doesn't it doesn't have an underscore or anything like that. So well let's go ahead and just go over here and let's replace the item name with lantern and like I said before usually this part right here is just lantern and then dot ENT so uh, it's just the item name and then dot ENT typically uh, I'm sure that's uh, what it's saying for everyone but I can't check every single one to make sure that's the case so majority of the time that is usually how it is and uh, that's what I'm doing here lantern dot ENT and if for whatever reason it's not you can go and go ahead and check in here Alright, so this one will give a, uh, it will call the file and it will give the, the player an item directly from the file. So uh, that's lantern, and he's going to get a lantern on the start of the game. Alright, so now let's talk about the second line of code. First, uh, before we, actually, uh, when we get into this one, let's talk about all the parameters before we talk about what we're going to fill up here. So the first one right here that's left blank is the internal name I believe in a separate episode we had a, a, a case with this with the uh, checkpoint down here where uh, there was like this internal name it really has no use and you can completely leave it blank and it won't change anything you could if you wanted to it's just for your own for your own eyes so you guys can know what item you're giving or what this line of code is gonna do for your own eyes I'm gonna leave it blank I don't really need it right now so I'm gonna leave it blank uh, next to uh, next to over here. So then the second parameter right here, item name is just just like uh, this one up here. You need to have the item name with the underscore and everything. So something that you see in here or something that you see in the level editor right here with the underscore and everything. So uh, make sure you get that right. So I want to give them something, but first let's finish running through this. Uh, so uh, name for the uh, lang file. So this is the uh, cool part about this uh, line right here, the give item. You can give a name that it's going to use in the lang file so in the language file uh, you can give the you can give the item a custom name and a custom description even though it's like you know like a sanity potion you can overwrite that and put in your own uh, put your own the description of it inside of it so uh, we're gonna we're actually gonna do this and we're gonna do it to something for fun but we're probably just gonna remove it at the end but I just want to show you guys how that works so that's what that's for. Uh, next is the item name that TGA. This is the image file of the item. So so uh, basically, the, it, I, I just says like just like entity. You just have to put in the item name and then just add that T, TGA because that's the type of uh, f format that they use, and that will do. That will that will be perfectly fine. And then finally, the last parameter here is how many of that item you want to give the player. So this is uh, one of the differences from this one and this one, along with the, the fact that you can give it a custom description. That's a main difference between these two lines of code. Um, and uh, remember, this one we will use if you're just going to give a player an item from Amnesia and you're not going to customize in any way. But if you want to give them more of that item or if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, give them a give it a custom description and a name you can use this line of code also if you wanted to give for example two of this item you can just copy this code and paste it right underneath and you'll end up giving them two so if you wanted to give them like for example three let me go ahead and copy this and then paste and then paste and there you're giving them three instead of having to use this long line of code <clears throat> with uh, all this information just for this so I'm gonna erase this <clears throat> excuse me Again, I've been pretty sick, and I've been trying to release these videos. <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's uh, start uh, filling up the information over here. So now that I explained all of this, we can talk about an item. So I don't know what item I want to give them, I don't really have one planned. <clears throat> um, let me just uh, go down here and see what appeals to my eyes. Um, maybe we'll give him a... A sanity potion, potion underscore sanity. All right, let's do that. Uh, remember, it's potion underscore sanity. We can check that over here. Uh, potion <clears throat> sanity 
potion underscore sanity and that's the name of the entity file as well but we are going to be changing it so we're not going to be uh, using this entity file so uh, let's go ahead and give it a potion underscore sanity potion underscore sanity okay <clears throat> excuse me that's the name of the item and this the next part here is name for the lang file uh, okay so let's go ahead and remove that and oh, we can uh, th this this name can be um, whatever we want, but this name has to match what's going to be in the uh, language file, in the uh, extra English lang file. So I'm um, just thinking of what would be a good name for this. Um, I don't know. Uh, sanity, sanity potion one. Sanity potion one. That sounds alright. Uh, really don't know what to give it, but that's fine. Um, now we got to change the item in here. Again, it's just the same thing as as this right here. So let's go ahead and just type in uh, potion underscore sanity, and and uh, in the, remember dot tga at the end. And how many want to give them? Um, just I think I'll just give them one. I don't really need to give them two of this item. So one's fine. Um, but remember you can change that if you want. I'm gonna save this up right now. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about giving it a custom description, uh, a custom description and a custom uh, title. And remember, it will still work the same. It will just give it a custom title and description. So oh, I made a new one. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and open up our extra English .lang file. So that's in the root of our custom story here, and uh, right here, extra English .lang. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that right into Notepad. All right. And uh, here we have all the stuff we had from the previous episodes. So, uh, so since this is going to be a, just like uh, you know how uh, with with keys, we uh, we give it like hallway door key, and then this key will open up the door to so walk into the hallway. Well, you know how uh, the keys always have its uh, it always has like that generic name, um, machine room key or something like that. It we always override it here, so we give it the right label. So, we're essentially doing the same thing with the sanity potion, which is going to overwrite the name that it has and give it something else. The function is still going to be the same, but we're just overriding the, the name of the the name of the title and the name of the description. So let's go ahead and go over to uh, to over here. I'm just going to copy uh, sanity potion one. Or, actually, not not yet. I'll go over here. So now um, uh, we want to make a new entry here in the. Uh, and under inventory, same place we have the keys. So I'm um, just gonna go ahead and just uh, I'm a bit lazy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. Go on to a new line <coughs> and just rename things. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So I'm gonna remove this <coughs> and this, and then I'm going to uh, change this to potion sanity one make sure I'm, I usually just like to copy and paste because I, I don't mistype like that potion sanity one all right so potion sanity one let me make sure nope I messed it up I knew it I knew it I always mess it up you guys as you guys have been watching for a while now I've already had like two mistakes with this where I always like forget to like add a one and then I have to like uh, put that um, down so I just prefer to copy so I don't screw up when I uh, type it up. <clears throat> so now, uh, now we have our um, our entry for our sanity potion one and our entry for the description for sanity potion one. So let's go ahead and give the item a name. Let's let's give it something stupid. Like let's give it like a car. Let's say like this is a car. So let's say a car. And the description. Um, I don't know. A really fast car. Again, this is just for you for demonstration. So a really fast car, uh, and the name is a, a car. So let's go ahead and save this up now. Remember that the name the name is match sanity potion one and the sanity potion one here. And uh, and I think uh, that that's pretty much it for things we got to do in the uh, description here. There's nothing. We remember. Let me just. Uh, Give it a run through so you guys can know exactly what's going on. So on start on the at the start of the map when the map first starts, 
uh, all this stuff is going to happen. Besides this stuff up here, these two things are also going to happen. One is going to be give item from file. So it's going to give the player an item from the file. The name of this item is called the lantern. And the file that it comes from is lantern.ent. Lantern.entity. And, and then after that, we will give a, we will give item to the player. It has no internally and this has no function. So this nothing happens here. Um, give uh, the item name potion underscore sanity. Uh, and then this is the name for the language file. Give uh give potion sanity and overwrite the item name and description with the one with the entry we've made in the actual English dot lang file that's called uh that's labeled sanity potion one. And sanity potion one item name is a car, and sanity potion one the item description is a really fast car. So replace that and replace that. After that, we can uh, continue with the line over here. After that, uh, then uh, load up the image file, which is potion underscore sanity dot TGA, and give the player just one of that certain item. So uh, that that's pretty much how everything's going to run down. If you guys notice, I like uh, I like telling you guys how it's going to be processed in the background when you guys load up the map. That's how it's going to be processed. So so that's how it's going to work. So, uh, without further ado, I say we go ahead and save up, and we start up our map. I'll see you guys there. Oh, guys, uh, as usual, I forgot to talk about something. I always forget something. Uh, before we actually start up our map, uh, we're going to go over to our uh, episode uh, 16 uh, HPS file. And I was going to talk about uh, setting the player's uh, lamp oil. So, let's go ahead and copy the code all the way down here called set player lamp oil bring it over and we're gonna set his lamp oil at the start of the map I'm gonna put it right under the lantern stuff and um, basically you can set the players lamp oil uh, uh, on the start if you put it on start or if you do it anywhere else you can change it uh, you can also set it any at any other time it doesn't have to be on start all any all of this doesn't have to be on start it can be whenever you guys want all the code you have you have seen can be run at any point in the game uh, it's just a matter of where you want it, and uh, we want this at the start. So uh, yeah, set player lamp oil. Pretty simple. One one uh, parameter in here. It's uh, this is just a percentage of how much oil the player has between zero and a hundred. So zero percent is nothing, and a hundred percent is complete. So zero to a hundred. So uh, I want the the player to start out with like uh, fifty fifty uh, percent of the oil, so half. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be uh, all we have to do. So he's going to start with 50% oil. So let's go ahead and save that up. And now I will see you in our custom story. All right, guys, here we are in our custom story. Sorry that I did forget to uh, mention the thing about the lamp oil. Uh, uh, as usual, I'm forgetting things, especially when I'm a bit on the on the sick side. Uh, my brain just tends to, you know, just forget things. So um yeah so now here we are in the map and we just well, on the start of the map we should have gotten our items so let's go ahead and press tab and C so uh, first thing before we even talk about the items up there over here you can see our oil is set to 50% uh, of the uh, capacity remember this is from 0 to 100 and it's just a percentage of how much so if you put like 10 you have 10% of the oil put 100 you have 100% of the oil so that's how that works uh, so yeah nothing uh nothing uh, uh, fancy about that so as usual the player has the lantern in his inventory he can just press F and he can open it up and no problem uh, so yeah he the player starts with his lantern and there's no problem he can use it no problem remember we gave the player uh, the item through the file so this uh, lantern was given to him through the file because we weren't gonna modify anything uh, in it so so now let's talk about the other one. So let's go ahead and see if our uh, custom title and description went through. So right there, you can see a car, a really fast car. So even though this is a sanity potion, we gave it the custom title, uh, a car, and we gave it description, a really fast car. We over um, we overwrote the uh, information in there. And if the player's sanity was a bit low, he can uh, use it. <clears throat> well, he can drink it. I don't think he can use it now. Yeah, he can. 
But yeah, remember if you guys are just gonna give the player an item directly from the uh directly from the uh from the uh, game, just go ahead and do you know uh give item from file um like potion potion underscore sanity and then dot e n t just uh remember that if you're not gonna make any changes to it, just you do it the other way um better that way all right well that's it for this episode guys hope you guys you guys enjoyed there is a potential for this to uh, go a bit further like uh when you're doing things with chemicals and like glass jars and stuff like that when you when you like uh use them when you like m try to mix two uh, objects together and you get one item in return uh that you will have to use this kind of system here where you got to give the player an item so this will be useful in several occasions. Um, probably not immediately right now, but uh, in the long run, it will be when you guys start getting uh, into some more cool like puzzles and stuff like that. So, um, uh, yeah. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next episode at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I'll get some comments uh, regarding what I should do in the next episode. Again, I do want to build up to jump scares because I know a lot of people do want to see jump scares. And I will. Tr I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm building up to it, guys. Believe me. Uh, next things I want to do are messages. After messages, I also want to do uh, playing sound, playing ambience music. Uh, probably one whole episode on sound would be good. Um, uh, maybe that's what I'll do my next episode on. I think that's a that's a good uh, that's a good one. All right. So uh, uh, if, if if there's any changes, you guys will see it on top on the top right when I link the video when the next episode comes out you guys can see the link on the top right on the video you can see what what uh what's next before I even know uh, but I'm probably gonna try and do um try and do sounds uh, sounds and music to for the ambience music um, I probably do want to talk about how to create your own ambience music too so those two will be uh, something upon themselves uh, an episode upon themselves. So maybe in the next episode, I won't do music. I'll probably do uh, messages. I do want to do messages, so I'll probably do messages. But I have to do it with something else because messages are pretty straightforward. Uh, they don't require much. Uh, so I might want to um, <clears throat> might want to uh, uh, include that with something else. But for now, I'm not sure. Again, leave uh, leave your recommendations in the comments. Leave a lot of comments from you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.